Wouldn't it be horrible if you saved up all this money and you had the goal of leaving a bunch of money for your children or grandchildren, whoever it is, for inheritance purposes, and then most of the money ends up going to an estate tax? Well, that's what I want to talk to you about. First, I've got to address something real quick. And so if you, if you notice here, we at Jazz, we like to have a good time. We're really casual. Um, I, I'm trying to dress it up a little bit because uh, right here, if we look at this comment uh, from the other day, it says, those pants make him lose respect, too young, and lacks experience. Well, thank you for that. Uh, so I figured I'd, I'd clean it up for you guys today, uh, make sure that I, I don't you know, look too unprofessional for you and lack, I lack experience. Uh, just to let you know, though, I don't wear pants generally. It's like 120 heat index here in Florida, so everything we do around here is shorts. It's a little more casual, but that's the way we like to do it because finance is stuffy. It's stuffy. We are not the suit and tie people. Well, other than today. So, all right, so let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, I wanna talk to you about the uh, state tax. Now, when looking at estate taxes, uh, the federal government actually allows you to have, now it's $12.92 million passed to your heirs tax-free, which is awesome. So federally, there's not a big issue. It all really comes down now, unless you, you, know, you have a lot of money. If you got a lot of money, well, uh, you, know, you, you better have a good estate planning attorney to start working on this. But what happens if you live in one of those states that, you know, gig you for this? You know, there's some that are out there. Well, let's first talk through for a second. I really want to just discuss different types of accounts and how they're taxed so that you understand that from even a federal perspective. Because just because you have $12.92 in exemptions for the estate tax, that does not mean that you're going to pass your pre-tax traditional IRA to your kids that you never paid taxes on and, and uh, hope that, hey, they're good to go. Doesn't work that way. So let's go over to the handy dandy board for a second. Let's talk about this. All right, so we've got the federal estate tax. That's the first thing we wanna talk through. Generally, you're gonna have multiple different types of, of things that come into play. But let's just say for the average person, this is what's focused on the average person, you're just gonna have your house, your primary residence. Well, that's part of the estate. You're going to have an IRA. Let's say that you have a Roth IRA, and then also you have your bank accounts or even just taxable investment accounts. So let's just say taxable accounts. So or cash accounts that are invested or not. All right, so with the house, generally speaking, the house is going to get what's called a step-up basis. So that means if your house is worth, let's just say $500,000, and you pass it, you pass away, it will probably go through probate just due to the fact that, you know what, it's not in like the children's name, which... Be careful with that in general, too, because that could create some tax issues with them. But if the house goes and it goes through probate, the children get it, they're going to get it what's called a step-up basis. So the step-up basis means that even if you paid, let's just say you paid $150,000 for this house, it's appreciated to $500,000, the kids are going to get it now at $500,000. If they go and sell the house that day, then you know, they get the step-up basis. Well, what happens if the, the actual house goes up in value after they've inherited it, they continue to hold it. They're going to have to pay taxes on anything above that original amount that they inherited it for. So now the IRAs, pre-tax accounts. When it comes to the pre-tax accounts, they're going to have to pay taxes on this. Taxes have to be paid on the entire amount, regardless of the federal exemption when it comes to a state tax. The reason for that is because you've never paid taxes on these accounts. Now the Roth IRA, that's the, the cool one because you've already paid taxes on the money. Now, as long as you've got this set up, you could pass this to your children and they're going to get it tax-free. Now, doesn't mean that they won't exclude you from the 10-year rule. There's a 10-year rule with the federal rules where basically any IRA or Roth IRA now has to be completely empty after 10 years. That all came into play here recently, so watch out for that. Just be aware of it, but if you've got 10 years to pull all the money out and it doesn't get taxed for the kids, that's, that's a win there. Taxable accounts. Taxable accounts, now those are gonna also generally get a step-up basis. So what that means is, again, we go back to here, we've got you know $150,000 in the account, let's just say, but you had only started with $10,000. You've done really well for yourself. Those are all investment gains. You're not going to pay those though if you just leave them in the account and leave it for the kids. They'll again get the step-up basis, Whatever comes out from there, let's just say the account grows to $200,000. Well, guess what? Now they owe $50,000 because they inherited it for $150,000. So it's going to work out in their favor. Now, again, that's as long as you stay under the federal exemptions. Now, what happens, though, when it comes to the actual state? 
Well, it's really confusing, and I'll be honest with you. Uh, it's one that every state is so different. This video could take 10 years to do just because of all of the specifics. But I want to really encourage you to start to look at your state and how this could play out. So let's take a look here. So as far as a state and inheritance taxes go, this is urban.org, Urban Institute, uh, put this out. And it really just gives a cool little chart and a breakdown here to show you how much do estate taxes differ from across different states. And so you have an estate tax and an inheritance tax or both or no tax. So just to give you an idea, an estate tax is taxed before it goes to the heirs and an inheritance tax is taxed after it goes to the heirs. A lot of states are now going from the estate tax to the inheritance tax. Some states do both. And so those are the ones you got to watch out for. Maybe that's why people are heading down here to Florida and other states that don't have any estate tax. Uh, a lot of wealthy people heading down to South Florida right now that we've seen. Um, or maybe they're even coming around here because our stinking real estate is so high. Uh, so if you look here, all of those in the yellow, gold, tan, whatever color you want to call this is uh, our tax. They don't have an estate tax, an inheritance tax. But then you have some that do. Uh, and then you've got some that have both. So those are the ones you've got to watch out for. It really breaks it down here. Uh, some states have recently changed things where they're getting rid of this. Um, if we look here though, so this is actually not accurate. This is showing 2022. This was supposed to be a 2023 article here, but um, Col Connecticut actually just adjusted to whatever the federal uh, inheritance rate is. So they're changing that. A few of these here, or since this is 2022, are gonna be a little bit different, but I want you to just focus on the basics here to really understand what you're looking at here. So these are different states. As you can see, I won't read through every single one of them. Um, so basically, if your estate is valued at that or more, then there could be an inheritance tax on that. Now, not only that, but states with inheritance taxes, so not just the estate tax, but you have Iowa, Kentucky, Nebraska, Maryland, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania uh, use various exemptions and tax rates. So make sure that you know where you're going to pass away and what the kids may get. Because we've worked with some people who unfortunately inherit quite a bit of money in other states, specific states, such as Pennsylvania being one, that it's a mess. And you go through probate, you have all of these costs there, you have the state tax on everything that they're getting. And before you know it, they get the money, they're super frustrated because it's not near what they thought they were going to get. And honestly, the parents are probably, you know, now deceased, but they probably didn't realize all this either. So make sure that if you are wanting to leave an inheritance, you know these things, you know what's going on for the children uh, and make sure that you, know, you, you figure that out so that you know the numbers. We always like to talk about that, knowing about your dough, keeping your dough straight. That's what we do here at Jazz Wealth. If you haven't, check us out, jazzwealth.com. We'd be happy to help you.